you work on HCCI? Yes, that's what I've been doing for the last uh, two years. Well, it's a very successful project from what I've heard. That's great. Oh, really? It's going to be more and more important Adam? soon. Yep, Adam. Good to know you, man. Well, you run lean normally. Diesels, stratified engines. You always, your NOx shoots up. Sure. HCCI, the reason people are interested in HCCI is you can run lean without making additional NOx. So I don't have to put a lot of money in the exhaust after treatment. I don't have to have fancy, you know, SCR or other type of uh, NOx conversion. Very cool. So that's 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 just the background. And now, coming back to this, looks like we are fro no, we are okay. All right, now you're running in spark ignition mode. So the first time you start it, like I said, you'll be in spark ignition. Okay. The way I have it calibrated when you launch it, you'll go into HCCI. Will I notice? You will notice it. It'll really? sound like uh, it, the induction tone will change. Uh, you guys are familiar with engines, right? Yes. Oh, so, yeah. spark ignition engine, you throttle the valve, right? You throttle. You got a throttle body. You throttle the intake charge depending on the load. Okay. When I go to HECI, I'm unthrottled, so I'm running pretty close to barrel in my manifold, almost like a diesel engine. Yeah, so it you is. So you will see that you will feel that induction tone change because now you're unthrottled. Cool. Does it sound good? It sounds different. Okay, different. We'll go for <laughs> And then we'll see whether it sounds good or not. <laughs> we like to think it sounds okay. <laughs> Great, cool. Yeah. Okay. So now... Oh, now I heard it. Right? Now it sounds like a diesel. Cool. It it's like a... A gas and a diesel at the yeah, same time. That's exactly like what it is. Hybrid. You can run it like super high efficiency. It's like, oh my god, that's great. And How high you, will it go up? You, if you floor it, will it run to, uh, to yeah, spark yeah, again? Yeah, it will. So you want to drive conservatively to keep an HCCI. Yeah, and right now, this vehicle, I can drive up to 60 miles on a flat surface, 60 mile cruise in HCCI. So this is all stratified, right? Like I said, without NOx. We are running stratified, lean, HCCI without the NOx. You know, it guilts you into behaving. You want, <laughs> you want it to run an HCCI more. Yeah, and we are obviously working But no fuel this. change. To, to push this, we are trying to push this up. Could you use ethanol with it? With, oh, with, absolutely. No way. Ethanol works very nicely with HCCI. During the transition, is it harmful to the engine if, it, if there's a good transition? Well, like if you transition. Well, did you see off? the panels inside? He's Adam, really, in that the, was ridiculous. Uh, yeah, he is, yeah. That's right. Oh. All the top end is all regular standard. Yeah, it is. We didn't mess you with can it. run in spark ignition yeah, yeah. and you don't so there's no throttle lag. I don't have to worry yep. any about that's good. Yeah, and that's then nice when you testing. get to, when you get to the port throttle, that's when you want your fuel efficiency. Uh, this is almost like a belt alternator starter in that when you're at an idle it saves a little bit because we're running HCCI at idle and low speed. Correct. You run light load and idle. You How many run. MPG am I saving? Like just if well the I'm going to say between 12 to 15 percent. 15 percent. That's good. 12, 12 is good too. If you're stuck in commuter traffic, I just wonder if you could keep it in HCCI if you got a... Well, with more this calibration, is, yeah, research, this is, yeah, and this is ideal. Yeah, we'll, we'll push that up, you know, and also for city traffic, for light load, stop and go, unless you're not, you know, jumping on the throttle every time you start, uh, you, would, you could largely be in HCCI. It's great. It's great. I love it. I love it. There's a novelty of your car turning from gas into yeah. diesel. And that is and cool. The, and, the, and the best part, Adam, if you, like I said, if you saw those panels, the amount of things that happen on a cylinder event basis when you go, when you make the transition, are I've got the, the valves going from high lift to low lift. Yeah. I've got the throttle opening, wide open throttle to go on throttle. Right. Then I've got the phasers. I've got two electric phasers there for the valve timing. I'm, I'm trimming airflow with phasers. So throttle is wide open. When you're in HCCI, you're wide open throttle and you're controlling airflow with valve timing. What kind of transmission is in here? This is a four speed. This is a regular four so speed. So I can't just lock it in. You, you, can, you, can, you can. You can. I don't want to lock it in a low. I want to lock it in a high gear so I can force it to HCCI. Because the smoother you are, the more that it'll stay in ACC. ACC well, you, the right? calibration is such that if you're past 40 miles, the, con the transmission is locked, the converter clutch is locked. Okay, right now I can tell you what you're running. You're talking about the converter clutch. I can lock it here too. I can lock it. No, with the computer? Yeah. 
Oh, dude, you're... Oh, my God. If you do that, the floor pan is going to fall out. It's all fast <laughs> and furious. You know what I'm talking about. That is great. Dude, danger to manifold. That <laughs> is intense. But that's that's so, that's how we develop it, right? You need to have all these tools to develop this technology. You need to be able to just lock it. Yeah, I, I can lock it in whatever gear. I can lock the converter clutch. I can do whatever. <laughs> what the do you hear that, Raymond? Do you hear that back there? <laughs> yeah, I can. It's so cute. It turns like it's. It just starts. It sounds like it's sniffling, and it just all of a sudden starts sipping gas. Oh my God, that's great. Oh, that's delightful. Can we see this ever? Are they giving you the money to do it now? We are working on the technologies. Lots of the technologies here. I know that the Volt is the darling child, and you know, you know, things like U85 and HCCI. They were doing so much development work on it. Things got tough. We still, I'm still working on it. Great. So we still have the same focus that we had number two. So Let's see right two. here, this is good. So we we have not lost focus. You know, you're and fighting the fight then. Oh yeah, absolutely. This Great. is what I've been doing for the last couple of years. <sighs> So, <laughs> very well done. <laughs> Thanks, Adam. Very well done. And if you put it in drive and you brake torque it, you can put it in HCCI. Go past 1300 RPM. There you go, back off now. Back, you can back off now. There. And that's, that's how I calibrated it. I can, I can make it, you know, do whatever we need to. Need that to. Is, is shocking. That's great. Is it running on just regular gasoline right now? Right now I'm running premium gasoline because my spark cables for the uh, spark ignition are all tuned for for okay. high premium. God. And that doesn't mean I can run, you know, regular or ethanol. Or ethanol. I think two, Thank you so year, much you know, for the drive. This is great. I can't wait to just, it's going on YouTube.